Thank you and Merry Christmas. That's the way House Speaker John Boehner ended his speech Thursday night as the House cast their trillion dollar spending bill to narrowly avoid government shutdown. Thanks for nothing is more like it. Politicians who had all year to sit down and hash out a spending compromise put that crucial task off until the last minute. Then a handful of them went into a back room and came out with a 1600 page doorstop loaded with all sorts of junk. And they expected members, almost none of whom had the chance to read the bill, to vote up or down. All year, and with less than three hours left before shutdown, they pull out this out of their hats, an inferior plan loaded with unmistakable poison pills and extremely controversial law reversals. No wonder the latest AP poll shows only 13% of the public thinks the two parties can find a way to work together. Now, that's not to say there aren't good people in politics. There are several people who show signs of goodwill and intelligence in D.C. from both parties, but it seems there aren't enough of them to get anything serious done. By themselves, they cannot overcome all the years of inertia imposed by sellout politicians chained by corporate lobbyists and dark money, and their knee-jerk reaction constituencies all whipped up by their respective media enablers. The rest of us are left to wonder how this pathetic gridlock will be fixed. The voters have been turning over partisan control of Congress every few years for a while now, but still business as usual. Nothing seems to change. Putting one party in charge of both legislative and executive branches just never seems like a good idea. It may be we have to look elsewhere for real political leadership, maybe closer to home. We're starving for something, but Washington, D.C. keeps lurching along our national albatross. It's a nice place to visit, but a terrible place to make your bed.